everyone, it's Alyssa and welcome to You Can Learn Math. Today is about different types of triangles. The main three kinds of triangles, you say like different kinds of triangles isn't just a triangle, a triangle? Eh, yes and no. There are three main kinds of triangles. They are equilateral, isosceles, and scalene. Yes, those are strange names. I know, I know, I know they're strange. Just got to go with it. Okay, so our first one on the list is equilateral. And I'm going to try, hey, there we go. The ink to shape feature is working well. This is an example of an equilateral triangle. If I spin that around, if I were to turn it over, so this end goes down over here and ends up there, at that point, it's still going to look the same it's going to be exactly the same no matter how you turn it because each one of these sides is the same length. They're all the same. If this side is four inches, then this side is four inches. Also, this side is four inches. Equilateral. A good way to remember this is that first word, that first part of the word equilateral sounds like equal three equal sides. Another thing about equilateral triangles is they have three equal angles. Side note, this is how we show in geometry that angles are the same. If we had um, two angles, you'll get to in a minute, it's a little different. This is when they're all the same. We just do one line in each of them. Also, a way to show that these sides are the same is to draw a single line through them. Those three sides are the same, equilateral. All equilateral triangles have three angles of 60 degrees each. Each one of those is 60 degrees always, no matter the size of the triangle. Next, we have isosceles. Isosceles. Gotta love these names, right? An isosceles triangle, hey, all right, is a triangle with two equal or congruent sides. You'll hear both of those words, equal or congruent, two congruent sides. That is isosceles. On the isosceles triangle, these two angles are congruent. All right, the ones on what you call like the base. We have our two identical sides up here be our base. The two angles on that base are congruent. Okay? There is no, unlike the equilateral, there is no set, oh, these, these are always going to be the same there at the bottom. For example, there we go, there's another isosceles triangle. Doesn't look a thing alike, but it still has two congruent sides, which means these two angles there are congruent. A way that I remember isosceles, you have the word isosceles, you have, just changing my O's to circles, thank you. Okay, I have two identical letters and then the one in between. Okay, <laughs> I know it's just a visual. The S, the S and the O in between. So it's like I have my two identical sides and the side in between. My two identical sides, my side in between. Okay, didn't say these would be perfect ways, but they will help you remember. There, we got the two, the double letters right off the bat, double sides with one side in between, isosceles. And our third major type of triangle is scalene. Eesh. Scalene, it's kind of an odd name, isn't it? There's a scalene triangle. When I think of scalene, it sounds to me like scaly. You think of something that's scaly, like a dragon. It's like a dragon, something that's unusual and a little odd and 
not something you normally see. So to me, that's how I remember scalene. These triangles are unusual and a little odd. And we normally see these nice pretty triangles where things are the same. But no, not these, not the scaly, scalene ones. All three sides are different. They are not the same. No sides match. No angles match. Now these three types of triangles cover every triangle known to man. Every single solitary triangle ever will fit into one of these categories. And they have to. That may not seem right at first, but let's take a look at them and see why that has to be true. Okay, so we have our equilateral first, then our isosceles, then our scalene. One, two, three. So there's only three sides on a triangle, right? So here we have three sides match. Here we have two sides match. Well, what's left? Three, two, one. One side matches? One side can't be a match. One side is just one side. <laughs> So because of that, every single solitary triangle you see is going to match one of these three types. Again, just as a quick sort of thing, equilateral, equal, and all three angles are the same. Each angle is going to be 60 degrees. Isosceles, two sides are the same. These two angles are the same. There is no universal degree for those angles. You can have very tall and narrow uh, isosceles triangle or very short and wide isosceles triangle. And scalene, no, none of the sides are the same and none of the angles are the same. And see so here I'm meaning that we don't know. It's not like, oh, they're always 45 or they're always 33 or they're always 60. You have no idea. Here, it's none are the same. None of the angles are the same, and none of the uh, sides are the same. Anyway, there's our three, our three different uh, types of triangles. Again, equilateral, equal. That's how you remember that. Isosceles, you got that SOS in the middle. You have the two sides that are the same, and an oddball in the middle. See? Same, same, odd one out. SOS. Eh, it works for me. Hope it works for you. And finally, scalene. Just, I think, scaly. <laughs> like a scaly dragon who's a little strange, a little odd, and not something you see every day. We have a scalene triangle with everything that's just a little strange, a little odd, and we don't see it every day. All right, that's going to be it for uh, triangles. If you like a little bit more on this, please stay tuned or look in the description below for other geometry ones. I hope you enjoyed that today. Um, if it was helpful, useful in any way, please like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.